Hi friends, we already know what is motivation. We all are busy doing something or the other. We are restless to achieve our goals. That means we are all in the quest of satisfaction of some need or the other. What are these needs? There are two basic types of needs. One is lower order needs or biological needs. We can call them as physiological needs also, like need for food, clothing, shelter, rest, sleep, and so on. Once we satisfy these needs, higher order needs such as psychosocial needs emerge. Need to stand on one's own feet, need for love and belongingness, need for having one's own identity and all this. And motivation as we know is that energizing force which drives us towards the achievement of our goals. It is that force which directs and controls our behavior towards the achievement of goals. Here, let's understand Maslow's theory of self-actualization in which Maslow has arranged our needs in a hierarchical order in the form of a pyramid with lower order needs at the base and higher order needs towards the apex. Hi friends. We are all busy every day, focused on doing something or the other. Some may be going out to study, some for working, some may be even to look out for two square meals a day. Everyone would be focused on satisfying one need or the other. In other words, we are all motivated to do something or the other to satisfy some of our needs. As we already know, after one need is satisfied, we think of satisfying the other need. In this way, every person is continuously motivated to satisfy some need or the other. Maslow has arranged our needs in a hierarchical order. First, let us understand what are these needs. We have need for food that is we have hunger, need for rest, need for sleep and even such biological needs and then once they are satisfied we think of other needs like security needs, love and affection needs which we generally call as psychological needs or socio-emotional needs. Today in this theory of Maslow's we will understand how he has arranged our needs in a hierarchical order. At the end of this module, you will be able to list the hierarchy of needs given by Maslow. Abraham Maslow, an American psychologist, he has arranged our needs in the form of an hierarchy. So we call his theory as that of hierarchy of needs. He has arranged our needs in a hierarchy in the shape of a pyramid. The lower order needs are towards the base and as we move up the higher order needs emerge. Physiological needs at the base, a little higher order are the safety needs, then the love and belongingness needs esteem needs and self-actualization. Now let us focus on the physiological needs. We are all animals. Just like animals, we all want to satisfy our basic needs, the biological needs, the need for food, clothing, shelter, rest, sleep and so on. And then emerge the safety needs. When we say safety needs, they need not be only physical safety, it is even emotional security, social security. And then once we feel safe, we think of belonging to the society, a community outside and then emerge love and belongings, belongingness needs. These are all classified as lower order needs by Maslow. Even among these needs, Physiological needs are satisfied first and then safety needs and then love and belongingness needs. 
Let us see what Maslow calls as lower order needs. They are biological needs or physiological needs, then emerge safety needs and then love and belongingness needs. After satisfying all these needs, we think of esteem needs and then comes the need for self-actualization. These needs are classified by Maslow as higher order needs. Let us now look into the physiological needs or the biological needs so to say. The need for food, clothing, shelter, need for rest, sleep. Then we have safety and security needs, then love and belongingness needs, self-esteem needs and need for self-actualization. Of these, the physiological needs, the safety needs and security needs, love and belongingness needs or the lower order needs, whereas the self-esteem needs and the need for self-actualization are highly derived needs. Only when we satisfy the lower order needs, we think of satisfying the other needs, the next higher order needs as per Maslow. First of all, we always think about food. When we don't have anything in our stomach, when we are hungry, we are not able to focus on anything else. And once we look into our basic needs such as we have satisfied our need for hunger and thirst, then we will think about a future. We want our future to be safe. So we think of safety needs and once they are also satisfied, then we think of security needs and love and belongingness needs. And after that, we think of higher needs. Abraham Maslow insists that only when we satisfy lower order needs, we will think of satisfying the higher order needs. For example, first we will think of food, clothing, shelter, other things. And once they are satisfied, we will think of our safety needs. After they are satisfied, we will think of love and belongingness needs and so on and move towards self-actualization. Thus, Maslow's theory of self-actualization is all about arrangement of our needs in a hierarchy in the form of a pyramid with lower order needs at the base and highly derived ones towards the apex. Thank you.